you know, there's a false premise behind thinking that we can woo someone into being a believer. The false premise is that if we just make Jesus and his message look attractive to people, that they're going to want it. The gospel is the good news for sinners. You can't make it any more attractive than it already is. And it is the most amazingly beautiful truth in the entire world. But before you get to the amazing good news, you have to be confronted with the bad news of your sin and your separation from God. That's the only way you can possibly understand the good news. And without the power of God, people aren't going to accept being told that they're sinners. Yep. It's not a message that you cloak in worldly ideas and try to sell. Jesus doesn't need us to woo or sell his message or him to anybody. And I've had unbelievers tell me that they know other unbelievers who have read the Bible and they've explained it to them. And that's why I'm wrong because the other unbelievers are right. <laughs> it's just not true. It's not that they can't read the words. They just can't discern what God is right. saying. He's making the point, the wisdom or the philosophies of the world are useless. And we're not talking about wisdom or knowledge that brings scientific or medical advancement or wisdom about, you know, building or technology. This is the philosophies of the world that try to answer the questions that everyone wants the answers to, which is like, why am I here? Or what is my purpose? Or how should I look at all the things that happen in life, including death? There is not one human being that doesn't want those answers, but they can only be answered with God's wisdom. All human ideas that don't line up with scripture about those things are useless. 